Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over uh, solar, take a look at solar and the overall ETF TAN, uh, see what they're doing. We'll also dig into some other renewables uh, just to see what the, the charts are telling us. So let's dive in and I'll give you my financial opinion here. So here is uh, TAN, uh, Invesco Solar ETF. Uh, looking at this from a big, big long-term perspective, let me back all the way out here because this thing looks really good. So we have a massive pattern. Uh, one, two, three. We had a breakout. We had a retest and then a launch. This is your first wave, in my opinion. We are coming into a consolidation period, and then we're going to put in a huge third wave. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. Looking at a one-year kind of diving in, we have another. So this is the big pattern. We're going to look at this small one here, which is a year in length. So now we're inside that other pattern here. And then we've got another pattern developing and it spilled out the, the bottom side here. Sometimes they like to spill out and then they turn and go on up. Uh, so looking at the six month, kind of just zooming in, this is a one, two, three. It was ready to break and then we came back down. I still think that we are gonna head higher. We could have a return move down here if, if it gets a little ugly in the markets. But overall, I think we are going to still head higher because we're breaking these patterns to the upside in a very strong move upward. We broke this to the upside, we could spill back and then move on up. So I think it looks excellent for a long-term hold. Uh, here's Beam, Beam is in, in TAN. Uh, and when I see this, let me throw another pattern here. We were in this pattern down here, broke out, came back, and then broke out big. Uh, so this is the first, I would say the first wave kind of coming up. I'm gonna zoom in on the right-hand side here. Another one, two, three pattern. We broke to the upside, we came back in the pattern, and then I think eventually this is gonna resolve itself upward. Here's the six month, and you can see we're coming back in, probably consolidating here for a little bit, maybe a little bit of sideways movement, and then a big move higher. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And I do own some stock in BEM. Sunworks. Sunworks has been a little bit frustrating. We have, we'll, we'll step way out first. We've got the one, two, three on the big pattern. It broke out to the downside uh, for the crash. Then massive move higher. This was a massive move, 30 cents to almost $30 on the, on the wick here, a uh, hundred fold increase. Came on down. We are in this pattern, the flag pattern right here above all of this breakout now one thing i want you to look at this is a downward movement we went sideways and now we're we're going to start moving on up i think so if we zoom in on the right hand side here we've been in this pattern one two three we're at the bottom of the pattern here i'd like to see this thing break to the upside i'm in it i do have a little bit of money in it again i'm not flush to the gills with it but uh, i've got a little bit riding on it and waiting for a move to to move higher here for uh, SUNW, Sunworks. Looking at SOL, Renasola. We've got the, let's back out to show you kind of the big picture view, a massive descending wedge pattern. This was a huge opportunity down here of a lifetime. I didn't get in it, but I wish I saw it. One, two is the mutated fat one. And you could say three is over here even, because it didn't touch the bottom. Anyway, it broke to the upside, first wave, uh, I think we are changing the direction here of this descending wedge into a to, into an up move first wave or the first leg of the of the wave coming on back zooming in on the right hand side we are now inside of this big pattern here one two three break into the upside we're doing a little return move I think we're going to see this move on up eventually for a good long term hold sun power sun power back out big old big old move look at this thing um just to let me do something here i'm just curious to see what this looks like because the projected move would be roughly this and you put it to the breakout about right there so we still have a good good ways higher to move for this projected move uh, it's 
$94 is the projected move. We came on up, we pull back. And I think we're going to probably beat that move. Zooming in on it, on the right-hand side, we have another one, two, three, break to the upside. We're in a one, two, three re reversal flag pattern. And we're probably going to break to the upside here. Zooming in on the right-hand side here a little bit more. Let's zoom all the way in. One, two, three, and then we're going to break to the upside. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Put that like over here. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. We're just drawing this this channel in here, uh, and that's what we've got. And I think this is going to break to the upside here at any second for Sun Power. And there's another. I own all these guys. I own a little bit in each. I've got money spread out on all of them. So looking at this one, we're going to back out first for Canadian Solar. Massive pattern. Again, one, two, three, and then we're coming on up for the break. We broke to the upside. We're going to zoom in on the right hand side here. Another one, two, three pullback. We broke to the upside of that. Uh, and honestly, right here, right now, I think it looks great for Canadian solar right here. Looking fantastic. And that's what you do when you look at charting. You try to find companies that just broke out of their patterns that are ripe to, to potentially move up, where you find low risk, high reward uh, opportunities. And this one, I think, is right there. It looks really good. So that's CSIQ. This is end phase. Looking at this guy, we're going to go way out. Uh, this thing's had a massive run. It was all the way down at 74 cents and it's at $255 right now. <laughs> That's in from 2017. Massive bull run in end phase. Um, I kind of see a, a little pattern kind of coming through here. Zooming on in on the upper right hand side here, we've got a one, two, three. Through the third didn't even pull back, it just broke. And we've been moving on up for end phase. And looking up here, yeah, it looks like we could have a little bit of a of a topping pattern going on. Uh, almost a shoulder head shoulder, a little bit of a pullback that's complete because that was where it started. And I think we could continue higher out of these big breaks. So that's end phase, ENPH. Here's fuel cell. This is a a it's in the it's not a solar, but it's a renewable. So we're going to back out of this guy. We, ha we had this massive downward channel pattern broke to the downside. We have a shoulder head shoulder. And we're putting in the right hand shoulder right now. Uh, that's what it looks like. Zooming on in. We've had patterns coming on up. Nice good bottoming pattern. Big, big move higher with good volume right there. This is the bottom. We're putting it in. And now money's accumulating this stock. Big up days, small down days, nice good pattern, continuation pattern, slightly downward pattern of a descending wedge. That's what I look for. One, two, three, we bought it on the, the tip over here. If you guys participated uh, in it on the channel. Now we're moving on up. Let's zoom in on the right hand side. We do have a very short term ascending wedge that broke to the downside. We could see a little bit more downward pressure, and then we're going to see a big move higher, uh, in my opinion, for a very, this is a good long-term hold for FCEL fuel cell. Looks great. And it looks a lot like, almost like our uh, patterns in our oil and natural gas with the huge um, reverse head and shoulders. Here's plug, plug power. Uh, so this is what it looks like. We've got this downtrend line that broke came back and now we went we're in a new uptrend now uh, you can see that the volumes kicked way up here this is where you want to watch comes all the way back and you start accumulating on these bottoms here that's how you do it we've got a one two three um correction it broke to the upside ran from the bottom here of a dollar all the way up to 69 dollars we had a 69 bagger in a little over a two-year period 69 bagger now we came on back one two three and we are breaking to the upside again uh, so this one also looks really good we broke to the upside but we're in this pattern here it is tilted slightly upward which could mean that we could see a potential pullback at some point if it doesn't break to the upside but difficult to say but that's uh that's what i've got for today that's what i see in all these charts for 
Uh, solar and renewables. Solar looks fantastic for, I think, a long-term hold. I think they're going to put a ton of money into solar. They're going to they're gonna really pump this with all these stimulus packages around the world. So I think that's a good spot to look at and a good spot to be in. And I put some money in it just in case. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.